happened even though Plummy was there when her with her when her first year was there because I gotta be honest with you I was watching I probably I'm not the only one what's up guys it's your boy next vortex back again and today we got some WNBA stuff going on we are of course talking about Derek Hamby and her lawsuit against the Las Vegas Aces and the recent suspension of coach Hammond let's get into it so as a disclaimer let me get this out of the way besides the fact that I just recorded this video and forgot to hit the the and had my mic muted the whole time we're gonna ignore that but just to be clear with you guys I'm not trying to sound misogynistic in anything I'm about to say I have nothing against Derrica Hamby I think she's a fantastic player I am looking at this right down the middle down the line I'm gonna play devil's advocate I'm going to point out some things that the Las Vegas Aces and Coach Hammond probably could have handled a little bit better. I'm going to try to be as unbiased as possible, but I will call it like I see it. That's for sure. Let's get into it. So this is the lawsuit. They posted this on uh, on Twitter for everybody to see. So we're going to look at it. We're going to see it. All right. So the first part of this, it just goes into... It basically explains what Hamby did, her accomplishments. So it's setting it up to to show that they really wanted her and her assets and her value to the team. So in 2018 through 2022, Plaintiff Hamby played an integral role in the Las Vegas Aces organization's quest to secure its first WNBA championship. Very important. Preseason begins roughly at the end of April each year. So what they're doing here, what they're doing here is they're basically setting up a timeline. And in this case, it's, it's going to be to defend her case about the pregnancy and depend, you know, defend the timing, uh, probably so that they could show that it was unnecessary to kind of snap judgment and panic and, and do what they did, which is initially trade them. And you, you're not going to get me to believe that they didn't trade her out of retaliation, which I think was an overreaction. But we'll get into that in a little bit. Let's continue looking at this. As we go down this lawsuit, let me see. 2022, June 28th, signed a two-year contract extension to continue playing professional basketball with defendant Las Vegas Aces. This contract was for the purposes of securing Hamby as a player for the Las Vegas Aces for the 2023 playing season and the 2024 playing season, which with such contracts set to expire on May 15, 2025. Okay, she signed a two-year contract extension. Everything's good. We're, we're going to go back and win another championship, man. We're good. We got all our players. In an effort to deter Hamby from entering the free agency market, where she would have been one of the more compelling available players, this is true, maybe more money, but you know there's a cap, defendant Las Vegas Aces offered her a two-year contract extension. Okay, two, that's a no-brainer. You're going to offer her a two-year... She, she was all-star multiple times, multiple uh, sixth woman or sixth man uh, awards, High first round draft you drafted her it's like it's a no brainer why would you not want it she's surpassed expectations so there's no reason not to extend the contract she's somebody that you want to play for you we get it in connection with this offer the defendant Las Vegas Aces promised Hamby certain benefits and inducements outside of the contract to entice Hamby to sign this is where it gets interesting these benefits included but were not limited to an agreement by the Las Vegas Aces to cover the private school tuition cost for Hamby's daughter, Amaya, beautiful name, in the form of a donation to Amaya's school. I mean, that sounds a little shady, but I don't know. I guess that's a donation to her school. Additionally, defendant Las Vegas Aces agreed to allow Hamby to occupy team-provided housing accommodations. Though Hamby also had a separate residence in Nevada, this would allow Hamby's family to assist with child care for Amaya while Plaintiff Hamby was traveling for road games. Makes sense. Plaintiff Hamby signed a contract extension with the interest and desire to continue her playing career with the Las Vegas Aces organization and solidify her status as a franchise player. So she wanted to stay with the Aces. She wouldn't she wasn't gonna leave. She wasn't gonna leave. She wasn't gonna go to free agency. They just won a, they just won a championship. Why would you leave? You got Asia Wilson. You got Kelsey Plum. This is, why would you leave? I don't even I don't even know if Plummy was there when her with her when her first year was there. Cause I gotta be honest with you. I wasn't watching. And I I'm I probably I'm not the only one. On or about July 18th, 2022, Plaintiff Hamby discovered for the first time 
that she was pregnant with her second child. Hammy discovers she's pregnant. August 6th, she told her. I have to ask myself, why wouldn't you tell him sooner? Why wouldn't you tell him sooner? That's a long, that's a long stretch. That's almost a month later. So it makes me wonder why she didn't tell her or why she didn't tell anybody. This is the honest truth about pregnancies, man. It's very, very fragile. It's a very, very fragile process. Like women can miscarriage for a multitude of reasons. So you never know. Maybe she was like, okay, I'm pregnant, but let me be sure before I break the news to people because I don't want to cause a panic or cause some some craziness you know if it's if it's unnecessary so i kind of understand that from that perspective if that's what she was thinking but that's a long gap that's a decent gap i don't know i didn't doesn't say how far along she was i guess we'd have to find out like um when the baby was born uh to see where she was at in the process but my morning sickness i don't know if it's morning sickness or she decided to take a test usually there's some type of something happens that the woman will feel a certain way that been feeling sick or or you know my mom was dreaming about fish or some crazy shit like that you know so on september 18 2022 the las vegas aces won the first wnba championship in franchise history with the help of plano hamby who was part of the starting five in 32 of 34 regular season games in 2022 so according to this and that's wild man that's wild that I don't know if guys are doing that. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if guys are doing that. Approximately three weeks later. Hold on. Let me see. Discover for first time she's pregnant. So she figured out she was pregnant in July. This woman two months pregnant. And she, and she was playing like helped her team win, man. I know that <laughs> just based on with my kids, I really didn't want my wife doing anything. No heavy lifting, nothing. Definitely not going out there and playing basketball for the next two months pregnant but i don't know man i'm i'm not a woman i'm not a doctor i don't know how how strong this stuff is man but that's a strong baby and she was she was gonna make it she, she was gonna make it regardless their mom was balling her ass off man <laughs> on september 20th so we skipped so two days after uh do the championship victory parade in las vegas and we ain't gonna talk about that after making her pregnancy public, here's where it gets messy. Plaintiff Hamby experienced notable changes in the way she was treated by Las Vegas Aces. So why, when she made it public, did it become a problem? Okay, hold on. We got close up for this. Here's what's where shady things start to creep up. Do you think they were mad because they were going to try to convince her to... Maybe Hamby knew that that's what they wanted and she wanted to say that so that way they couldn't try to force her to do that or put her in a corner. But if that's the case, and this is this is not true. I don't know. It hasn't been proven. I haven't seen anything about it. This is literally me thinking, just thinking up scenarios about how all this happened. That's some shady ass shit if that's how it went. Like, that's some dark shit. Because you can't do that. Like, at the end of the day, you don't want her to get pregnant. It's like, we got a contract with you. We want you to honor the contract, but you got to eat that at the end of the day. You can't, you can't manipulate that situation like that. That's not your place. <laughs> That's not your place, but uh, let's, let's go back to this. After making her pregnancy public, she was treated differently. For example, when Amaya's school tuition became due in September, 2022, the rent was due. And Plato Fambi inquired with General Manager Williams and Las Vegas Aces President Nikki Fargus about it. Williams and Fargus informed Plaintiff Hamby that they were working on it, but provided no date which the donation for Amaya's tuition would be made. Yeah, yeah, they stolen. They were stolen. They're stolen. It goes to you. It's like, hey man, you got my money? Yeah, 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 I got it, man. I, I, I just don't got it on me. I'll holler at you next week. You better have my money next week, Charles. It's, it's the same thing. Let's keep going. They, they're ducking, man. They're, they're stalling because they don't want to pay that no more. Because and it comes down to what I said before. You have a contract. You enter a contract with somebody. They're expecting you to do something. And then now you did something that keeps you from honoring the contract. They ain't going to want to honor their end of the contract anymore either. So that that actually makes sense let me see october 1st 2022 general manager williams informed plaintiff hammy that she must vacate the team provided housing they didn't kick her out of the house now which is one of those benefits 
that was in that contract extension, unless there's something in there in that contract that says, which based on uh, what Christina Williams said, let's pull this up real quick. Where is it at? Let me see. But that reason can never be on the basis of race, gender, sexual orientation, parental status, or pregnancy status. Any team can train any player for any legitimate reason or no reason at all. It doesn't say anything about kicking you out of the house. I would just assume that that's not even... You don't even need a contract for that. You can just do it. This is our house. We pay for it. Get out. One of those types of things. There's no reason we give them playing Hamby for the decision to remove, remove Hamby from team providing housing. That's a problem. You can't just do it for no reason. You got to give me a reason, man. You kicking me out of the house? Like, you got to give me a reason. You can't just do it. Now, I feel like they don't, they don't want to give a reason because they know what the reason is. Because you got pregnant. You didn't honor your contract. You weren't protecting yourself from not getting injured. In this case, getting pregnant, which is the equivalent of a guy getting injured. So you have to look at it like that. Like if a guy, if Steph Curry was like, man, I'm going to go to this attraction in West Virginia. I'm going to get in a burlap sack and this dude's going to roll me down a hill and I'm just going to be rolling my ass off. The guy told me I could break my leg and it's probably a high chance that I will. But it's it looks fun. I got to do it. And he comes back and he tells his coach. He's like, hey, coach, I broke my leg. And coach is like, how the hell did you break your leg? He's like, oh, well, I jumped in a bird like sack and some dude rolled me down down the mountain, West Virginia. The coach will look at him as like he's insane. So that's the only way you can have an equivalent to a woman in the WMA getting pregnant. Guys can't get pregnant. And even if they get somebody pregnant, they don't got to take time off. But if you get pregnant, you out like you're out. It's not an injury, but it's treated like an injury. Like, you can't play. Like, I, I'm surprised that you played the two months that you played. To me, that's, I mean, honestly, like, coach needs to give you some credit for that. Just the quarter, to me, like, the coach needs to give you some credit. That should be brownie points. Uh, gives and trust. We're going to get into the conversations she had with uh, Coach Hammond in a second. Let's check this out. November 2022. So it's like a month by month, man. Again, followed up with Williams and Fargus regarding defendant Las Vegas Aces promise to cover tuition. It's a promise that's in her contract to cover tuition costs for Hamby's daughter, Amaya. Plaintiff Hamby was told they were still figuring it out, but she was given no date by which the tuition payment would be paid. So what this means, and it means to me, what this tells me just by, just by reading this means that there is no clause in this contract. Just based on what I just read, there's no clause in this contract that says if said person doesn't do something to honor their part of the contract so pregnancy is off the table like that apparently the wording is not in there in that contract or else they would have a reason they'd have a reason you broke the contract that's why we're doing this but they haven't given her any reason for any of the stuff you take the housing you give no reason you stop paying money for the daughter still figuring it out it's like you can't give her a definitive answer which means you're just trying to bide your time, maybe hoping that she leaves on her own, but eventually knowing that you're probably going to trade her. It, it just looks bad. I guess they were hoping that nobody was was going to notice or wasn't going to make a big deal about it or Hammy was just going to eat it and be like, all right, yeah, I got pregnant, whatever, whatever, you know, it's on me. It was to a certain extent it is, but this is some shady stuff going on. Let me see. Hammond asked Hamby whether she planned her pregnancy. When Hamby responded that she did not, Hammond told Hammy that she was not taking proper precautions not to get pregnant. Based. Like I said, I'm playing devil's act. I'm going to call it right down the middle. Hammond told Hamby that she was not taking proper precautions not to get pregnant. This is true. She wasn't. Because if she was, she would have got pregnant. Moving on. Also, during that phone call, Hammond questioned Hammy's commitment and dedication to the team. I mean, would you? Let's go to the scenario back with Steph Curry. He breaks his leg. <laughs> Rolling down a hill in West Virginia doing some shit he ain't got no business doing. Do you think the coach would question his judgment and his commitment and dedication to the team? I think they would. I think the coach would be pissed. And probably be like, what the f*** were you thinking? Why would you do that? You dumbass. You just cost us a season. You just cost us season ticket holders, man. You just cost us this many people. How many people are coming to see Steph Curry play? How many people are coming to see Hamby play? It's, just, it's, it's the same thing, man. 
It's the same thing. You got to protect the asset. You got to protect your body. This is what the contract was signed on. You signed a contract because they want you as a player. They want you as an asset to the team. That's why they extended the contract. That's why they wanted to keep you there. That's why they gave you all the stuff to keep you there. You put your asset at risk unnecessarily because there are plenty, plenty of contraceptives. This is 2024. You got all types of ways to, to keep from getting pregnant. Hammond told plaintiff Hamby that she was a question mark. She was. She was a question mark. She don't know what she's going to do now. We don't know if you're going to be ready. We don't know if you're going to be prepared after the baby. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if there's going to be complications. We don't know anything. It is a question mark. They make it seem like it's detrimental or like it's a bad thing. No, it's true. You're a question mark. We have no idea what's going to happen in the future. We don't know what's going to happen. This could ruin your whole career. This could set you back years. Hammond further stated that the Las Vegas Aces needed bodies. Okay. Needed bodies, needed people, needed players, depth on their chart, and that Hamby would not be ready to play in time for the start of the next season. Okay. So she's saying this is a judgment call on Coach, Coach Hammond's side. No harm, no foul. That's what she said. That's a he said, she said thing. That Hamby would not be ready to play in time for the start of the season. In response, Hamby assured Hammond that she was committed to the team, would be giving birth during the offseason, and anticipated being fully ready to play by the start of the preseason in April 2023. That, re- I don't know, that response, my ears when I hear it, when I read it off, it rings planned to me. I don't know. What a coincidence, right? I don't know. Like I said, this is he said, she said. We call him down the middle like I said. That's how I see it. Also, during that phone call, Hammond accused plaintiff Hamby of signing her contract extension knowingly pregnant. It's a natural thing to think that, right? The natural human thing to think. No, you knew about this. And you signed the contract even though you knew. Coach is mad. Hammond's pissed. Understandably pissed. Did she handle this the right way? No. Not at all. In a situation like this, and I don't think that she thought it was going to come back on her like this. You can't just be tossing accusations like that out, man. Because basically what you're saying is you stole money from from the organization. You're basically, it's basically fraud. I'm going to get pregnant. They're not going to know when I'm going to sign this contract. That's a big accusation. So she said it's a false accusation, which Hamby denied. Hamby's going to deny it. She is. That's what he said. She said, like I said, they could subpoena her husband who under oath would have to say, you know, what he was going to say, whether he decides to lie or tell the truth. I don't know. I don't know what the liar of the truth is, but they're going to get down to it. And if it comes out that anybody lied under oath. I don't think anybody wants to go to jail for some bullshit like that. I'm just saying. Also, during that phone call, Hammond informed Hammy that it was believed by the Las Vegas Aces staff that Hamby would get pregnant again for a third time. So this is 44. Let's go into this. Go into this for a minute. So what what so what the coach I can see, I can understand that point. What she's basically saying is this is a behavior that we are now worried that you're going to repeat. Because you've gotten pregnant before. She has another child. So now they're seeing a behavioral pattern, they believe. And now they're worried that their money is in jeopardy because they can't trust her to be responsible, honestly. And make sure they secure or she secures their asset. Because once again, this is a trade. You have an asset. We need your asset. We will pay you money for said asset. Thank you. Exchange. And then one of the people in the agreement takes their asset off the table. Trying to protect their money in that situation. I mean, it's probably a false allegation. It's reaching. Um, Borderline gaslighting. They can say whatever they want at this point because now you've shown behavior that um, they have to be cautious of. So kind of put yourself in that situation honestly also during that phone call Hammond accused Hammy of not taking her off season that those seven months pregnant at the time Hammy was working out regularly as permitted by her medical doctors including paying 
playing basketball and doing regular Pilates and calisthenics workouts, which she shouldn't have had to do in the first place. It, it, it's done. The damage is done. The damage is done. Just let her go and be happy and take a break. You're going to lose her right now when she she still can do Pilates at home and do what she needs to do. In this case, she was taking her off-season workout seriously. If she's working out, she's seven months pregnant. She's seven months pregnant. I mean, I'm a guy. I don't know what that feels like. I probably don't, I'm not going to feel like working out or playing basketball seven months pregnant. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. So the fact that, that she's questioning that, she was already checked out. Coach was checked out. Coach was like, nah, you're you're done. Like, we're looking for any reason to get rid of you. Like, we're looking for any reason to trade you. They're looking for anything to trade her. It's not because she's pregnant. It's because your off-season workouts, you're not taking them seriously. Or you're going to try to do this again. Or you're not committed to the team. You know, any reason to trade. Also, during that phone call, Hammond told Hammy that Hamby did not hold up her end of the bargain. And that no one expected her to get pregnant again, implying that by signing the contract extension, Hamby implicitly agreed she would not get pregnant during the two-year contract extension. This is this is true. This is absolutely true. She did not hold up her end of the bargain. And that's that's like the hard truth of it. That's the hard truth of it. And that's what that's like that's right down the middle, right down the line. Like I said, I don't have anything against Hamby. I have no dog in this fight. But based on contracts and me paying somebody to do a job or to provide a service or some type of a skill or something, I'm paying you. We have a contract. This is how it works. You got to hold up your end of the bargain. And I'm not thinking that you're not going to. And getting pregnant is one of those things that's going to keep you from going to. When I sign a contract with you, we extend the contract and say, yes, we're giving you this money. We're going to do this stuff so that we can have you on the team sign here. Here's the money. We're not expecting you to be like, oh, I'm pregnant. Like, you can't do that. So it's absolutely true. When it says right here, Hammond told Hammy that Hammy did not hold up her end of the bargain. She didn't. Then no one expected her to get pregnant again. Why would they? Why am I going to offer you all this money if I think you're going to get pregnant again? Of course we didn't think you're going to get pregnant. It's easy to keep from happening. When you sign that dotted line, you put your name on that contract, you have a responsibility now to the organization. You have a responsibility to your teammates, to your fan base. This is absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Plaintiff Hammy then stated two times to Hammond, you're trading me because I'm pregnant. Hammond responded to Plaintiff Hammy's inquiry by stating, what do you want me to do? Bam! Oh, that's... He made that way messier that it probably needed to be this whole thing all this there's some parts in here completely cold true facts hamby hamby is responsible for for the actions that hamby takes hamby is responsible for honoring that contract and doing what she needs to do and it can be said that she did not take the precautions just like coach hammond said to prevent from getting pregnant also by saying that she's implying that she Kind of knew it was going to happen, but just didn't care. It was like, if it happens, it happens, whatever. But Hammond did not deny the accusation that Hamby was being traded because she was pregnant. She did not. She did not. And that's why I believe, well, she already got suspended, but I believe she's out, man. She ain't coming back. I don't. Th- I mean, she's coming back, but I don't think she's coming back next year. I would honestly be surprised if she finishes this, this year without something something else coming to this man it, it's hot right now the heat the heat is on in, in las vegas i'll say that for sure january 16 2023 hammond called plaintiff hamby and told her your time with the aces is up and that it is best for hammy's career if she moves on hammond told hammy that hammy could pick a place like los angeles or atlanta or that hammond could trade her to either the connecticut sun or the indiana fever oh man if she'd have went to the fever oh. They would have never given her the option to go to to go to the fever after Caitlin Clark got there. I'll tell you that. Aces don't want that type of smoke. On January 21st, 2023, defendant Las Vegas Aces issued a public announcement that plaintiff Derricka Hamby had been traded to the Los Angeles Sparks. Also, on January 21st, 2023, plaintiff Hamby issued the following public statement via social media. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to talk about that. We're going to close this out. If we're referring to the organization, 
organization has a right to be pissed off. They're going to say what they're going to say. They don't have a right to to disrespect you. I'll tell you who does have a right to do that. Your teammates. Your teammates. So I've heard that AJ Wilson was like one of the people, one of the harassers. I'll tell you like this. If there was a guy that did something stupid, if T.O. before the 2000 and 2005 season when they were going to the champion to the Super Bowl with the New England Patriots, if T.O. decided to do some bullshit, like the rolling down the hill in a burlap sack scenario, just for kicks, just for the adrenaline rush, broke both his legs, he's out for the season. Maybe he's out for half the season. Do you think Donovan McNabb would have been pissed. You think Donovan McNabb would have maybe yelled at T.O.? Some curse words probably would have been tossed around in there. Trying to make him feel like, you know, feel like shit. Do you think his entire team would have done that? T.O., what were you thinking? Are you a dumbass? What? Why would you do that? He would have got it. T.O. would have got it. Any athlete would have got it. Because at the end of the day, your teammates, that's your team, man. That's your team. And if you're thinking about your team and you're focused and you're where you're supposed to be at mentally and you're all in, you got to think about stuff like that. You got to think about if I make this decision, I could get pregnant and it could, it could really be a detriment to the team. What you can't do is put a post on social media that shows nowhere there's not a line, not a word, not a letter that shows any accountability on her part. And you might say, how could you be so insensitive? <laughs> She's a mother. Childbirth is the most beautiful thing ever. You can't judge a woman and you have to treat her with respect. You cannot deny her ability to have a baby. You are correct. I would say you're correct. A woman can have a baby all, all she wants. Have a million babies. Have all the babies you want to have. But this comes down to... I'm a professional basketball player for the WNBA. It's a small league. It's 12 teams now, right? 14, 14 teams? It's a limited space on the teams you came into it you showed out top player won awards went to the Olympics respect but you have a contract with an organization that pays you for your ability to do those things and when you jeopardize your ability to do those things based on your own choices which is nowhere in here does it say yeah I made a mistake, but it should not be handled like this. Nowhere in there. Nowhere in there. Unless I'm missing it. I might be missing it. If I'm missing it, then let me know. But there has to be some accountability. There has to be some... Yeah, I, I messed up. They didn't handle it correctly. They handled it like some assholes. It was definitely inappropriate. And unless there's a clause in the contract, they had no right to do any of that stuff to you. And I wish it wasn't like that, but... You can't come in here and get mad at the, especially if it's your teammates that you're getting mad at. They were pissed, man. They were pissed. It looked like you took the money and ran because at the end of the day, like you might get paid per game. I don't know if the WM gets paid per game. Like the NFL, they get a check. Like they get a game check. Um, But you got to think about outside of that. That affects ticket sales for everybody. That affects organization promotion that affects merch sales like that affects championship which affects future profits and future success of the company like just from that one decision of not being more careful with your body and protecting it from you know you getting pregnant it's not the time i feel like if you want to get pregnant in the WNBA, normal thing it's a women's league Women are going to want to get pregnant, but you can't like you, you You figure you're going to be playing in the league for what you get in when you're near early 20s. 
Like, Caitlin, Caitlin Clark is uh, 23 now, right? One day she's going to want to have a baby. But for the foreseeable future, she's locked in, man. Every year. Every year. Off season. It's just basketball. Nothing but basketball. She ain't got time to get pregnant. If she gets pregnant, she's missing games. She's missing practices. She's missing something. So how do we do that then? Can you plan and say, look, this year I'm taking a going on I eight. It's like, uh, let's let's see, like Jordan retired, but it wasn't really a retirement. He's like, I want to go play baseball. Whatever. I'm going to play baseball. And he went and played baseball. And then he came back. And then they won another championship. I feel like there needs to be something like that. Plan time. This year we ain't gonna have Caitlin Clark, because she wants to go be a mommy for a year. We're going to take some ticket sale losses, but at least you know we're telling you in advance she's going to try to have a baby. And if it doesn't work out in that timeline, you come back, play, or you take more time off and hope that you can come back and play at the same level you're playing. That's the, that's the dilemma you're in, man. It's a women's league and y'all get pregnant and you have to, you can't, you can't play when you're like pregnant, pregnant. And then you need to be able to spend some time with your baby. Like that's important. So I don't know that there, I feel like there needs to be something in place because at the end of the day, you're trapped. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Like you, if you, how are you going to have kids? You're going to wait until you're in your thirties when you're done with your career. Doctors would tell you that's not a good idea, but you're using your prime years like playing in the league. So I feel like there needs to be something implemented. And this is why it's so difficult because men don't have to worry about this. They can play all the time, every day if they needed to. They, there's no off time. They're they just going to miss their kids. Fly you, fly the kids out. We're going to see you for a little bit. But they don't have to have the kids. You need at least nine months to have the kids. That's the problem. So I don't know. I feel for Hamby. She evidently is a great mother. But uh, you got to make better choices, man. <laughs> Sometimes you need to be like, nah, babe, we can't do it. We, um, uh, well, you can't get pregnant. You just signed that contract extension. So I don't know. That's just my two cents on it. That was a really long video, but I feel like there was a lot of stuff to cover. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, like the video, please hit that like button. And if you feel so inclined, please hit the subscribe button as well. I got like 174 subscribers and uh, we're trying to it's going up every day, man. I just want to keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. I want more and more more. And I definitely want y'all to leave comments. Like I said, I try to keep it down the middle. If you ladies want to come after me and and say that what I'm saying is completely off and, and doesn't make sense, I'm going to hear you out. I'm going to listen to you. I'm open to criticism. Constructive criticism. If it's not constructive, I'll probably just ignore it. I might like it anyway. But uh, I am Next Vortex, and I will see you guys next time.